Hi guys, today we're going to make a beautiful tomato dish. It's a seafood tomato pie with a parmesan crumble, a tomato ice cream and a basil oil. So, let's begin. First, the tomato pie. Start by slicing 1100 grams of tomato in four. Then clean two cloves of garlic and cut them in half. Do the same with two sweet onions. Now transfer everything into a blender together with 30 grams of honey, 250 grams of prosecco, 10 leaves of basil and 6 grams of salt. Blend this till smooth. Then pour it onto a container and let it freeze for at least 3 hours. Once frozen, transfer it onto a well rinsed kitchen cloth, cover it and let it defrost overnight in your fridge. Meanwhile, take 12 tomatoes and carve a little cross on the top. Now blanch them for around 30 seconds so that the skin starts to let go of the meat. Then chill them in ice water. Once the tomatoes are cold, peel the skins off. Now transfer the skins on an oven rack. Spread them and then let them dry at 60 degrees Celsius. Then take the clean tomatoes and cut them in four. Remove the seeds, transfer them on a silicon sheet and spread them. Now season with some flaky salt and a couple of leaves of basil. Also dry these at 60 degrees Celsius. This takes around 5 hours. Meanwhile we'll start with the basil oil. Transfer 30 grams of basil into a blender together with 150 grams of neutral oil. Now blend this to the oils at 65 degrees Celsius. The oil will heat up from the friction. Then pour it onto a sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper and let it drain in your fridge. Now the parmesan crumble. Transfer 150 grams of hazelnuts into a blender together with 100 grams of breadcrumbs, 100 grams of parmesan, 100 grams of butter and 3 grams of salt. Now blend this till it's a smooth crumble. Transfer it onto a silicon sheet, spread it and then bake it at 160 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes till golden. Mix it every 5 minutes and then let it cool down completely. Now take the dry tomatoes and remove the basil. Then take a metal ring and cover it with plastic foil. After that transfer the dry tomato skin into a blender and blend it into a fine powder. Dust a thin layer of the powder on top of the tomato slices. Then lay them on the bottom of the metal ring and set aside for later. Now take the clear tomato broth and pour it into a saucepan. Reduce it till it's 400 grams. Meanwhile soak 2 leaves or 3.3 grams of gelatin in cold water. Once the broth is reduced add 2.5 grams of agar powder and while mixing bring it to a boil for 30 seconds. Then dissolve the gelatin. Now gently pour the broth on the tomato slices and when necessary let it set in between. Then let it set completely in your fridge. Now for the tomato ice cream. Take 4 tomatoes and cut them in 4. Also chop half a cucumber. Then cut 2 sweet peppers in half and remove the seeds. Do the same with a hot spanish pepper. After that take 2 garlic cloves, clean them and cut them in half. Do this as well with two sweet onions. Then transfer it into a blender together with 6 basil leaves, 5 grams of salt, 50 grams of sugar and 1 gram of centum powder. Blend this till smooth. This takes around 4 to 5 minutes. Once smooth pass it through a fine sieve and press it through using a ladle so you don't waste a single drop. Then transfer it into an ice cream machine and spin it till you have a beautiful sorbet. Let it set for 30 more minutes in your freezer. After that take the tomato pie and remove the ring. Then gently cut it with a very sharp knife. Look at that beauty. Now transfer it onto a plate and let it sit for 30 minutes so the jelly can come to room temperature. Then put some crumble on the side and decorate the top with fresh basil leaves. Now lay a canal of the tomato sorbet on the crumble and make a little dimple in the middle. And then finally fill the dimple with the basil oil. 
Okay guys, this is for today. I am super pleased with the result. The, the presentation is amazing. Um, it looks really cool. It's almost like a dessert and the flavors are there for sure. I already had a taste of everything and I can't wait to just taste everything combined. So let's just do it. Yeah, the jelly is super soft. The, the tomato has more texture to it, the, the dry tomato, but the jelly, yeah, it's super, super soft. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Like I already said, the jelly mm, is really a super soft jelly. The broth is just holding everything. Um, so it's not a jelly that it's really, yeah, like a, like a jelly. It's really, really soft and it's just holding up and that's for me the perfect texture. Uh, the flavor of the, the sun-dried tomato, or the sun-dried tomato, the oven-dried tomato, is really nice as well. The ice cream is so fresh and super flavorful, which is really nice. Uh, the dish has the crunch of the hazelnut and parmesan crumble, and to bring everything together, there's the basil oil. So, super fun dish. Um, it's gonna blow your guests' minds, because they are gonna be like, wow, I didn't order a dessert. Well, it isn't. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I hope you guys give it a try. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments what you wanna see next. Like and share the video, and subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing cooking videos. And as always, Bon appétit